In this one, the, the logic applies once again from top left to bottom right in this order. And the secret is that we have three axes. We have an axis here, we have an axis here, and we have an axis here. And there are some shapes that would take around these axes. So for instance, if we look at this one, we have a shape going in, a line going through this axis. And when you go over here, it has been rotated clockwise to vertical, then it's rotated again to diagonal, and rotated again to horizontal, and etc. If we look at the left axis, we must have some kind of, of half line going here, and then it's rotated clockwise down here, and then it's rotated clockwise again. And then the big question is what happens when we go from when it, it, it's supposed to, to go here? And the answer is, is provided here. It's not going to be hidden but it's rather going to turn all the way up there. So it's always present in the figure. Then it's rotated to here. And then it's rotated to from here and inwards again. Down here, down here. And then it's going to be rotated up there again. So we would have it positioned there. And the one around the, the center axis is here. It's going to be positioned like this. And finally, the third one around the third axis is going also clockwise. And we see again what's going to happen now. It's supposed to be here, but that's outside. So it's going to turn up over here instead. And it's going to be here, inside to the middle, up here, vertical, and then it's going to be, it's going to turn downside here, so we have it here. So, so the correct answer is A.